Hey everyone, so here is a question from exercise 1.3, second question and uh, this is knowing a numbers chapter of a class 6. Now this concept you might have learned in your lower classes but still we have a question to solve this one. So let's start. So give a rough estimate by rounding off to nearest hundreds and also a closer estimate by rounding off to nearest tens. So they are asking us to do both the things that is to round off the number to nearest hundreds and also tens. So for same question we are going to round off two times. One is nearest to hundred and again is nearest to tens. So I have all written the heading here. First one is by rounding off to nearest hundreds and second one is by rounding off to nearest tens. So first question here is so let me write down this one. So let me write down the question first. It's a 4, 3, 9 plus 3, 34 plus 4, 317. In the first one, we have to round off to nearest 100. So we have to check till up to 100's place. So in 100 place, we have 439, right? 439, 4 is in 100's place. So 439, when you see, it will lie between 400 and and 500 but 439 so 39 439 you have to look like center point is 450 right so any number which is greater than 50 or greater than 50 we're gonna come the next that is 500 but 439 is less than 450 it lies closer to 400 so it will be 400 here so 439 when you approximate when you round off this number this will be equal to 400 plus 334 same thing 334 lies between 300 and 400 but it's still closer to 300 the answer will be 300 here now next 4317 we are rounding off to nearest 100 so we have to check for 313 313 lies between 300 and 400 but it's pretty closer to 300 so it will be 4300 now let's add this 400 plus 300 plus 4300 when you add them up your answer will be 5000 now same thing we're going to do it for the tens so let me write on the question it's 439 plus 334 plus 4317 we're going to round up this number to nearest 10 means we have to check here 39 right so tens and ones please 39 so 39 lies between 30 and 40 but it's much closer to 40 it will be 4 this 39 will become 40 plus 334 so check for 34 34 lies between 30 and 40 but 34 is closer to 34 it's less than 35 right so it will be 330 plus again we have to check here 17 so 17 lies between 10 and 20 but 17 is closer to 20 so it will be 4 3 17 will become 20 right now when you add this up you will get the answer 5090 so that was the first question so let's move on to the next one Now in second one we have it's one lakh eight thousand seven hundred thirty four minus forty seven thousand five hundred ninety nine. So first we have to estimate nearest to uh, we have to round off nearest to hundred. So we have to check seven thirty four. So seven thirty four is closer to 700 it lies between 700 and 800 closer to 700 so we'll get here 1 lakh 8700 minus we have to check 599 599 lies between 500 and 600 and it's closer to 600 so we'll get 47600 and when you subtract these two numbers your answer will be equal to 61100 now next one the same thing we're gonna round up to nearest 10 so 1 lakh 8734 minus 47599 we have to round off to nearest 10 means we have to check 34 here so 34 lies between 30 and 40 and 34 is closer to 30 so it will be 1 lakh 8730 minus next uh, 99 99 is closer to 100 so it will be 
four seven since it's hundred we cannot write down hundred it will become one will come here it becomes six hundred okay we cannot write down hundred in place of ninety nine right so that one will gonna get carry with five it becomes six so answer will be forty seven thousand six hundred now when you subtract this two the answer will be sixty one thousand one thirty right so that was the second question now let's move on to the third one So in third one we have eight thousand three hundred twenty five minus four ninety one. We have to round up to nearest hundred. Means what we have to check three thousand sorry three hundred twenty five. So three hundred twenty five lies between three hundred and four hundred and it's closer to three hundred. So it will be eight thousand three hundred minus four ninety one. Four ninety one lies between four hundred and five hundred. But four ninety one is closer to five hundred. It will be five hundred. Now subtract them. So when you subtract these two numbers, you will get seven thousand eight hundred. Now same thing, but nearest to ten. So eight three two five minus four ninety one. So this will be equal to. So we have to check twenty five. Now twenty five lies between twenty and thirty. But I like I said before, twenty five is exact at the center. But when you approximate, when you round off this number, it goes to thirty. So here we'll get eight three three zero minus. We have to check ninety one. Now ninety one is closer. It is lies between ninety and hundred. But it is closer to ninety. It will become four nine zero. So when you subtract this two number, it's seven eight four zero. Now we have a last question to solve. So let me raise this part. Now we have here. It's the last one. So four lakh eighty nine thousand three hundred forty eight minus forty eight thousand three hundred sixty five. Now we're gonna round off this number to nearest hundreds. So we have to round off this three hundred forty eight. So this number lies between three hundred and four hundred, but much closer to three hundred. So here it will cut. Here we'll get three hundred. Minus now three sixty five again lies between three hundred and four hundred, but it's closer to four hundred. So we'll get forty eight thousand four hundred. So when you subtract these two numbers, we'll get four lakh forty thousand nine hundred. Now same number, but to nearest ten. So four lakh eighty nine thousand three hundred forty eight minus. Forty-eight thousand three hundred sixty-five. Now we have to check forty-eight. Forty-eight lies between forty and fifty, but it's closer to fifty. So it will be four th four lakh eighty-nine thousand three hundred fifty minus. We have to check sixty-five. Sixty-five lies between sixty and seventy, but sixty-five right at the center. So it goes to always seventy. So this will be forty-eight thousand three seventy. Now, when you subtract these two numbers, it will be four lakh forty thousand nine hundred eighty. Now, that's it. We have done all four questions. Now, here they are asking us to find out for four such examples. So, here I'm going to just give you a few examples to solve. I'm not going to solve them, but you can do by yourself. You can take any numbers and you can solve it. So, first example is you can take three eighty four plus Uh, you can take five sixty three, okay, and the second one, it's a three ninety one plus two hundred plus. You can take five sixty four. So two example I have just taken randomly. So it's you can just take a simple examples. Don't take a numbers in lakhs. You can just take a three digit number, four digit number. You can solve it. So that's it. I hope it's clear. In case you have any questions or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.